almost died trying to prove a freaking point. Did I mention that this bike has a 40 amp controller? The motor's still giving us power, guys. That's the motor, guys. Close to 2,000 watts. That is ridiculous. No folding fat tire bike is doing that right now. What's really good, fam? It is your boy, David Brand New. Ah, back with another video for you. Ah. And today we got another banger video. That is because we're reviewing another Amp Rides e-bike, guys. It looks interesting, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go over it in a little bit. First, I wanna take it on its first ride and see how she rides. Stay tuned, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and let's just get into the joint. I'm not gonna even waste you guys' time. We're gonna get right into it. The first test is gonna be a top speed run, throttle only. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. We got the GPS phone app right here. Let's see how fast we can get this bad boy. The bike is reading a couple miles faster. It's okay. Let's see, let's see, we're running out of room. We're running out of room. Oh, we, we got it, we got it. We almost freaking died though. We almost freaking died, guys. I almost died trying to prove a freaking point. <laughs> Talk about dedication, guys. I'm gonna start back a little bit further. I wanna see if this bike had a little bit more in it, okay? We're gonna give it a fair chance. I think we can squeeze out 35 miles per hour GPS, guys. Let's go. All right, test number two, throttle only. This time, we're gonna see if we can push it to 35 miles per hour. As you guys can see, we gave ourselves ample room to reach this top speed. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. A little shaky, it's okay. I think we can hit it. Come on, 34. Come on, please, please. 35, I'm sorry, 35, 35. I don't wanna die today, please, please, please. Nope, I can't hit it, I can't hit it. I don't wanna die, I'm sorry, guys. But 34 miles per hour is really good if you ask me. Throttle only. Let's go ahead and do this pedal assist test now. Are you guys ready? We got it in pedal assist five. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, you know what? I need to change gears. Hold on, let me change the gears first. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it a rolling start win. Pedal assist five, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. It takes off in five. We change those gears. Oh, my foot slipped. It's okay. Here we go. See how fast we can go. GPS. Oh yeah. It looks like we can hit 32 miles per hour. Probably more. I don't want to die today, guys. But as you guys can see, this bike is fast as hell, and that was GPS verified, by the way. All right, let's go ahead and do a hill test now. All right, guys, we're at the designated hill climb test spot, about to perform this hill test. The first one is gonna be throttle only. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's go, guys. I'm not using the GPS phone app just because I wanna use two hands on this hill climb. We do know that this speedometer reads a couple miles per hour faster, okay? Currently going 24 up this hill. Here's the steep part. Realistically, we're probably going 20 miles per hour up this hill. That's pretty good. This is a super steep hill. If you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know I like to use this hill for the hill test. So compare the other bikes to this one. Not bad. Let's see what the top speed is downhill. Let's go. I know with these Amp Rides bikes, it really doesn't cut the motor out. All right, let's see. Let's see, we're tucked. We're tucked. Oh, we're flying. It's the, the motor's still giving us power, guys. The motor is still giving us power. That was 40 miles per hour, by the way. I know you saw it. I know you saw it. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, Josh. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we're back down at the bottom. The next test is gonna be a pedal assist test of this hill. We are in pedal assist five. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Ugh. Had to push off a little bit. Here we go. Let's change those gears. Let's see. Oh yeah, the gearing is nice. Oh, we're in sixth. Let's see, let's see. We're not gonna give it extra power with these beefy legs, but here we go. Let's see, that's the, that's the motor, guys. That is the motor doing all the work. 23 miles per hour, you saw it. Here we go, 21. Now it is reading faster, so realistically, I think that was the same. It's probably 20, like 20 miles per hour. Uphill, okay? Give or take. Either way, man, dude, this bike is incredible. 
it's doing way better than the other bikes. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's better than the Razorback. Here's an overall shot of the bike. What are we saying, man? The, the design of the frame is a little weird, okay? At first glance, but it's starting to grow on me. Not gonna lie, it has a, a motorcycle sporty feel. Maybe even a dragon. I might even have to call it the steel dragon. I don't know. Let's go ahead and break down some of the components for you guys. So we're gonna start up here at the front. It's rocking some 20 by four inch fat tires. These are the V tire brand and these ones are street tires okay you may be able to get one with white wall tires so i would check the website to see what's available moving up we do have a motorcycle style front fork all right it's been working quite well here's the headlight well one of the two headlights as you can see the behemoth of a light above it but this one's a really good quality headlight as well it has two lights and then moving up to the motorcycle style headlight this one has a high beam low beam this one works really good also, these bikes come equipped with metal fenders, front and rear, nice. On this brake, we have a 180 millimeter disc and is equipped with a Tektro Dorado hydraulic brake caliper. Moving up to the dash, as you guys can see, we do have BMX bars, love to see it. It has these quality grips. These are really nice ergonomic leather. It does have hydraulic brake levers as well with the electronic cutoff. We also have a thumb throttle. This is gonna be located on the left-hand side. This bike is cool because it actually has blinkers, guys. So as you guys can see, if you move it to the left, your left blinker will be flashing. Check it out. This is gonna be your control panel right here. So you have your power button, your information button, and your plus and minus buttons for pedal assist. Here's your LCD screen. This is gonna be a color LCD screen. Nice and visible, it tells you your distance, your speed, what level of pedal assist you're in, and it tells you your battery level. We are working with a carbon fiber finish, super dope. They always have some pretty cool colors. I think the one that I'm gonna get to keep is like the Audi gray, so that's gonna be dope. Moving to the rear, we do have a rear shock. This is gonna be an air shock, and it's been working really well. I like the air shocks because you can adjust them according to your weight on the rear of the bike. This is the battery, guys. Now, I know you guys have never seen a battery this big. Check it out. Normally, these batteries are like this size right here. This one has some extra cells, and that is because it is a 52 volt battery. It also is 28 amp hours. That is a ton of range, okay? It is removable, so you can slide it out right here and take it inside and charge it up if you want to. This bike is also equipped with a rear rack. So you guys can put some stuff on the back. You guys know how I feel about rear racks. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 1500 watt motor. That is nominal, guys. That is the name of the motor. This motor is capable of putting out way more than that. Did I mention that this bike has a 40 amp controller housed right inside of here? This bike is putting out close to 2000 watts. That is ridiculous. No folding fat tire bike is doing that right now. Good job, Josh. All right, now that we got the informational stuff out the way, let's go ahead and have some fun on this freaking bike. I wanna take it off road and test out this dual suspension, see how she rides. Hopefully we don't run into any critters today. I know there's a couple coyotes that like to hang out around here, but we should be fine because this bike is fast as hell. Woo! Let's cut over here. Oh yeah, up and over. Go down. Yes, Dave. Oh, we're moving now. Woo, this bike is handling well. Now I know I do have street tires. We should be fine though. This is about to be fun. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. I do have on full protective gear now. I do have on jeans. Oh, I just got smacked in the face. Ooh, good thing I have a helmet on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh. This bike is handling this course well. This is probably the best any bike has ever done on this freaking course. Let's go. Oh, I almost slipped out. It's okay. We're good. Woo. That was a close one. This bike is too fast for off-road. <laughs> Let me slow it down before I actually get hurt. Oh, it was slippery right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. 
Ooh, some slippery sand with some street tires, guys. Hmm. Like I did say before, these bikes are super customizable, so just check the website out because sometimes the bikes can come with street tires, knobbies, white walls even, so I think I just ran over some shit, by the way. Oh my God. This bike has so much acceleration, it's ridiculous, dude. I'm good. Guys, what are we saying about this bike? Is it any good or is it any good? It's freaking great, guys. This, hands down, is the best folding fat tire e-bike on the market. Now, I know I said that the Razorback was, right? That was until I received this. This is perfect. I think I've decided I'm more of a fan of hub motors than mid drives, okay? With mid drives, you gotta be in tune with the bike, all right? You gotta be shifting those gears constantly, and I'm just not trying to do that, guys. Also, I really don't even pedal, so I never really switch the gears, so I'm not used to that. I just think that hub motors are less maintenance. With mid drives, they, you know, put wear and tear on your chain and your chain ring, all that stuff. But with a hub motor, I mean, if your chain broke, you still could ride back home. This bike is dope as hell. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next one, deuces like that. Yay!